having Michael Dewan behind the wheel, a Mercedes ambassador and a guy that's done this a couple of times as well. Well, I had a quick chat to Daryl Beattie, who apparently knows Michael Dewan reasonably well, and he told me that he would be fanging it around the track. That's a technical motorsport term. Just seeing the cars line up now, obviously you can see the Mercedes AMG Black Series on your left, ready to go. It's off. It's a staggered start. So don't forget, next up we'll see the Vodafone 888 car with Scott Pye at the wheel. Mick Dewan's off clearly as hard as he can. It looks like it handles well, this car, doesn't it? Like, it, you know that Dewan's going to be pushing it as fast as he can, but it goes well. And here goes Scott Pye in the Vodafone V8 supercar. Now, let me tell you, sitting there as Scott was for 10 or 15 seconds, however long, it feels like an eternity. And need, needless to say, we've got Gary there sitting in the McLaren. He's watched two cars drive off, and he's still watching the clock going, come on, guys, let me go, let me go. He's got 30 seconds to go before he can go. I know, and it's a, it's a great start. Now, Scott's a, a, a fresh face in V8 supercars. He's done one Fujitsu V8 supercar round, and he's uh, been given a great opportunity to drive the Vodafone car, the, the same car that Craig Lowndes drives in the main championship. On the F1 car now getting the start, Jack, you told us you've driven in this twice. What's the staggered start like? Or where do you, are you watching the car in front of you? Are you, are you looking out for the car behind you? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's an interesting one. Once you're on the start line, you want to make sure you get a clean getaway. Uh, obviously, with the handicap time, you want to be as close as you can as when we set that time. Um, and then once you're driving, yeah, you, you know, the road car, he's constantly looking, looking in his mirrors going, where's the V8, where's the F1 car? Now, this graphic on your screen will show you the relative position of the three cars on the racetrack. It's a pretty cool thing we've come up with to show you where they are on the racetrack. So you can see the Formula 1 car miles behind everybody. The V8 supercar was about 15 seconds behind McDoan in the AMG C63 black. So... It's closer, but they'll all. The idea is that all three lines will meet up right at the very end when they get to the checkered flag in about half a minute's time. It's impressive, isn't it, Richard? Just looking at this, early days, obviously. Who's your, who's your call? Who's going to win this one? I think the handicappers will have had a look at last night. Now the top <laughs> three cars, well, the three cars yesterday were covered by about a second and a half. So maybe a slight adjustment. I'm liking the Formula One car here. We should talk about Gary Paffett. He might not be a well-known name in Australia, but motorsport fans know who he is. He's won the German Touring Car Championship, the DTM. Uh, he was a works Mercedes driver for that. But he's been a test driver for McLaren for five or six years now. So he's integrated into the team. He knows the cars. And he's driving a car that won six Grand Prix last year, the hands of Lewis Hamilton and Jed Button. Here's Mick Dewan. Look at him hanging the backside out there. Scott Pye is catching him. And where's Gary? Here he is. It's going to be very close. I think Mick's going to get another one here. Two from two for Mick Dewan. Mick Doohan takes it just. I think he's just in front of Scott Pye in the Formula One car, and you can just see as they, as they zip past us, and the F1 car just had so much speed up, didn't it? As long as Mick can slow his car down the quickest out of all of them. The, the, the thing that gets me is the relative speed at the end of the lap. When they all yes. go off, they're all apart. You don't really get to see it. When they come onto the start-finish straight, and Mick Doohan's crossing the line, and the Formula 1 car's not even out of the final corner yet, <laughs> and it catches it by the time they get to the flag, that's amazing. The other great thing, sorry, Jack, the other great thing is the sound. When you ha hear an F1 car and a V8 car in the same spot, it really the sound goes through you, doesn't it? Absolutely, and I tell you, sitting in that V8 supercar, you're looking in the rear-vision mirror, Gary in the F1 looks like a little marble on the track. It's <laughs> tiny, and you can almost hear hear it fly past you before you've even seen it. You can. Well, the results are Mick Doohan took 2 minutes 24 to get around, Scott Pye took 2 minutes 05 to get around, and Gary Paffer took 1 minute 39 seconds to get around. So, pretty good race. I just want to ask you quickly, Richard, is it is it the corners or the straights where, where the F1 car can really make it up? It's everything. Everything <laughs> in one lap. Thanks to Liz. Thanks to Jack Rath.